my name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today I'm going to be showing you all the stuff that I bought for Black Friday season. It's not really one day anymore. There's Black Friday sales before, after, kind of like the whole month. So I'm going to show you everything I bought and try on some of them as well. All right, so the first thing I bought, don't judge, okay? I know. I know, I know, I know this has been here before. <laughs> I know I had like three videos on it, hating it. But it was on sale for $13. And I really did like the highlighter in it. And I thought the bronzer was okay. These guys here were the problem for me. Um, but I did like them as eyeshadows. But my rationale at the time was just $42 for something that... I don't even like these really. This is okay and I only like this. I don't really need it. That price is way too high. But for $13, I mean it's like I bought the highlighter, then the bronzer kind of came with it, and then this could be used as eyeshadow. So I bought it again. Listen, I'm crazy, not stupid. So I'm going to use my Too Faced Mr. Right brush and I'm going to start with the bronzer, which is Peach Honey. And that's a lot. <laughs> um, for anyone who doesn't know, this smells like, um, you know, the, the not the sweet peach scent. This is the like peaches and cream scent. Also, please ignore <laughs> the allergic reaction I have all over my face, which unfortunately I think came from my e.l.f. concealers the 16 hour camo one okay so it's a very peachy uh warm bronzer which is not surprising because this is the peach collection it also says you could use this wet or dry i don't think i would use a bronzer wet yeah so now the powder i applied is coming off i don't have any concealer on because like i said i think that's what the problem is so i'm letting my skin breathe a little bit. Now you can really see that uh, peachiness and the sheen come through on my fair, cool-toned skin. All right, let's do the blush. I know I'm not gonna like it, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. So I guess I'll put Peach Pop on maybe this side. It's okay. I don't like hate it as much as I did, but I certainly wouldn't pay a lot of money for it. Not for me personally, anyway. Like if you like it, go ahead, but for me, it's not worth that kind of money. And then I'm gonna do sugared peach on the other side. I mean, you know, it's it's your standard peach. The texture, though, is a little, um, like, softer. It's a little too much, but that's okay. So on one side, I will show you the Peach Pearl Highlighter. I'm going to use my Moda Contour Brush. If I could pick some of that up. Can you see that? Yeah, it is pretty. That's the part I liked best. But then on the other side, look what else I got on sale. The Too Faced, the original Diamond Light Highlighter. Uh, this one's called Diamond Fire. So box opens like that. It's your time to shine. And then take the little diamond out. And I think you press this here. Or no, maybe you just hold on to it. Look at that. Look at all the colors in it. Can you see, uh, like, the, the pink and the green and the blue? So pretty. Did I need this? No. But it was on sale. So I'm going to use my Moda Contour Brush again. Let's see if I can pick up a little more of that. 
too much is coming off. Of course, the reaction is like right there where this highlighter goes. Hmm, not much going on there. Let's see if I could use my finger instead. It's better. Blend that in a little bit. Hmm. It's not as... Oh, I see different colors in there. It's not as bright as I thought it would be. Which, I mean, I did swatch it in store back when swatching things in store was normal. Um, and I liked it. I felt like it was brighter. Oh well, I'll have to keep playing with that. Alright, so in another video, uh, when I reviewed a Morphe palette recently, I mentioned that uh, I bought three more Morphe palettes. It was like a three for one deal, so it was really good. So one of them I bought is the 35i IC Fantasy. Look at this. Just look at this. Very pretty. Next, I have the, which one is this? The 35H Hot Spot. Look at that. I'm mainly here for the blues and greens. <laughs> I mean, some of the pinks and berries are, you know, pretty too, but mainly those blues and greens. I guess it's one green, one gold. Yeah. But look at all the blues. And then the last one I bought is the 35V, the Stunning Vibes palette. This one. So again, I'm here for like the the berries, the blues, the teals, the purple. Um, and really a few of these are pretty. Um, I'll probably use those as like brow bone highlights. And again, when I buy Morphe palettes, in general, I combine them with other Morphe palettes and that's how I get my best use out of them. I already did a video on this. I also got the Lisa Frank 35B. Love this one, spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> I did already do a video on this. This one wasn't on sale, but I did buy it uh, during that like Black Friday season. I'm going to use the Morphe palettes in another video. Uh, so if you want to see those, definitely let me know. What I'm going to use today is the ColourPop Lilac You A Lot palette, which I got on sale. I bought this one because I saw a makeup just for fun swatch the big palette, the new one. <laughs> We're talking ColourPop. <laughs> they make a lot of palettes, so that doesn't help you. The big rainbow one, fade into hue, maybe? And, I mean, I don't really need that. I didn't really need any of this. But I was most interested in that purple row. And when she swatched the purple row, she compared it to the Lilac You A Lot palette. And I thought this might be a better choice for me. However, now that I have it here... I feel like, this sounds stupid, this leans more, like way more pink than say purple, like true purple or blue purple. And like it's lilac, lilac is pinky purple. But when she swatched them, it just, it looked more bluish purple and that's really why I bought it. This is the one I'm gonna try out today though. So we're gonna see how we like it. And I'm going to apply it with these. I got these on sale too. I got everything on sale. This is the Too Faced Mr. Right brush eye set, and they even say on them what uh, they're supposed to be used for. So I'm going to use these to apply the palette. I'm gonna start with this one here. The, this one says Blender. Um, to me, it looks like a fluffy brush, so I'm gonna use Zoned Out, and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. And I do have this eye here primed and the other one not, just so we can see if there's a difference. Okay, it is there. Um, I am a little concerned about the lilacs because, you know, they're so light. And on my skin tone, you would think that that works well because some people say like, oh, deeper skin tones, you won't see like lighter tones, like they won't show up properly. I find that they don't show up properly on me and I think it's because 
the shades are so light and I'm so light that like there isn't enough contrast. I personally think it like pastels look way better on people with deeper skin tones. But we're gonna do what we can. With these lighter pastel shades, you also might be better off like packing them on and then blending instead of just straight into blending like I'm doing. Oh wow, there's a lot of fallout all over from that um, the peach palette that I used. It's all over my dresser and like in my sweater. I don't think you can see it. Weird. Um, next I'm going to use the smudger brush, but I'm going to use it in my crease. This one here, Iffy, is the one I was like most interested in. <laughs> So that one's going next. It's a pretty color. By the way, in case you were wondering if I needed these brushes, no. Okay, I like that color, I do. Do I wish it was slightly more blue toned? Yes, but I like it. Okay, then I'm going to use the small shader and I'm gonna try and pick up fluff this middle shade. It's like a, I guess that's what you would call a medium lilac. This lilac's pretty light. I'm going to see if I can pick it up with this brush. I'm going to put that on the outer half. All right, I'm, it's kind of there. You guys know how I feel about using brushes with uh, shimmers. Wet might have worked better too, but you guys also know how I feel about <laughs> using wet shimmers. Yeah, I'm tired of that already. I'm going to use my finger. So I'm going to go into that same shade, Fluff. That's pretty. Oh, that's much better. Again, I was hoping for more uh, true purple or blue toned, but it's so pretty. And the next shade I'm going to use is one that I'm surprised that I'm so drawn to. It's called Cloud, and it's like a like a lilac, I guess, like a pinky lilac, but it has like a golden green shift or glitter to it. It's very pretty. I'm not going to bother with the brush this time. Hmm. You know, that kind of reminds me of um, that Stila, that Stila shade, that limited edition one from the Mermaid Trio. Sunset Cove, maybe, or Sea Siren, one of those. Yeah, it's pretty. I feel like it kind of loses that, um, like, green golden color and just... It makes it look more luminous than anything else, but it is still pretty. And then I guess just to use as many shades as I can, I'll use the liner and brow brush. Uh, I'll go into Ghostin, which is this like really bright pale pink. And I'm going to start putting that across my lower lash line. So my opinion on these brushes so far, like, I don't think they're bad. I think I'm just used to my old brushes. And then I'm going to go into filtered. Filtered. What does that have to do with lilac? Actually, what do most of these have to do with lilac? Anyway, it's like a blackberry shade, I guess. Ooh, it looks a little brighter on the brush, actually. And I'm going to put that even closer to my lower lash line and try to blend that a little bit yeah everything is definitely leaning like more pink so keep that in mind and then i'm going to use the large shader um i'm going to use cloud i'm going to see if i can apply that as a brow bone highlight Ooh, 
Because why not, right? Yeah, it can work. But then on the other side, I want to see if I can use uh, this highlighter here. Okay, it looks like we're getting a little something more now. Maybe it's one of those things where like you have to get past the first layer. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh. Yeah, I like that better. So I think I think maybe it depends on what you apply it with. And also I think you gotta maybe get past that first layer. You guys want swatches? Sure you do. I know you do. Alright, so cloud. Imagine that ghost in. More like a taupe mauve. I don't know if I consider that a lilac. Wake Me, which is like a duochrome fluff and train wreck. What does that have to do with anything? Isn't pretty. Mm, I like that one. That one's a little bit more like blue based. And then we have zoned out, iffy, and filtered. Yep, I can't say that they swatch great, but I mean, they are all, I mean, most of them are very light. But I do like the look I came up with. And you know what, for the heck of it, let me pull out It's My Pleasure. Um, I don't think I see anything that is similar enough. Like when I looked at them online, I was like, oh, I don't need the lilac one because they're really similar. I would say these are not similar. I mean, maybe Kittenfish is similar to... I don't know, maybe this one over here. Yeah, similar. Um, let's see, Pretty Cruel, which is like the like a brown, kind of rosy brown maybe. Uh, hmm, okay. <laughs> maybe there are similar things in here. I'll go into Sleeper and put that next to this one down here deeper, a little more plummy, but yeah. And I guess I'll check out Earthshine. Hmm, and where'd that duochrome go? Over here. That yeah, was up here. Yeah, a few of the shades are similar, I would say. They probably work really well together though. Okay, next is eyeliner. I almost have a full face here. Almost. Um, I got two more of the NYX, uh, what are these called? Epic Wear liner sticks. Uh, I got the silver one and the gold one. I'm not going to try them out today but I will swatch them for you. And I did do a video, uh, let me see if I can find a spot. <laughs> I did do a video on two other colors that I bought earlier in the year. So if you wanna see how these apply and wear, I recommend watching that video. Spoiler alert, I like them, just not for the waterline. The eyeliner I will be trying out today though Look at this. I finally bought some of the ColourPop Creme Gel liners. Aren't they so pretty all together like that? Um, again, on sale. I have been waiting to try these out and I thought this nice colorful bundle would be good for me. I guess let's stick with the lilac theme. And I don't know, maybe I'll go for this one here. And I almost broke that. Okay, how do we get these out? Oh no. You hear that? That's me pulling the 
eyeliner out of that little space. And I've heard these are like fragile. <laughs> Amethyst hour. So that's what it looks like. I'll do a little swatch here. Okay, yeah, so that same, like, I would say it's more pink than purple. Um, I'm going to see if I could put it on my waterline because that's what everyone says that these are so wonderful for. It actually worked. Look at that. Oh my God, it's actually, like, opaque. Wow. I don't know if I really like that color there, but wow. All right, so I did leave for about 45 minutes to go on Club Penguin. And that sound is horrible <laughs> when you pull the eyeliners out. Um, everything is still looking okay, which is great. Um, I'm going to use Piggy Bank. Oh, I've heard of that one. I've heard that's a popular one. Ooh. It's like uh, maybe a true purple. Let's see. Mm, it's still kind of a red purple, but that's okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try this on my upper lash line. Okay, it's, it's going. Uh-oh. To be fair, I'm not really good at um, stick eyeliner. I wonder how this would do if I didn't have the eyeshadow on. Uh, most people, though, I mean, they wear eyeliner over eyeshadow, I would think. I'm going to do something you're not supposed to do. I'm going to tug at my eye just to see if this actually will apply. Yeah, it's going, but not... I mean, uh, listen, I've definitely had worse. This is pretty good. I was hoping, though, that it would kind of just glide right on, you know? So it seems like my prediction, based on what I've heard online, is correct that these guys here, the ColourPop eyeliners, are better for the waterline, whereas the NYX Epic Liner Sticks are better for, like, say, the eyelid or under the eye or something like that. Just for the heck of it, let's try another one. I'll try Charmer. I think that's another name I've heard before. It's like a popular one. like a plummy brown, I guess. By the way, I do notice that the eyeshadow I put on the under eyes is transferring a bit. So I think maybe next time I have to be more careful with that. I'm gonna put this under my eye. Yeah, that works better than trying to put it uh, on top. Anyone else hold their breath when they do their eyeliner? Ow, okay, no more eyeliner. <laughs> and I guess at this point I'll like fix up the allergic reaction. Also, when I did look in the natural light in my bathroom, I do see the, um, the Too Faced highlighter a little bit uh, more intense and shinier. All right, next I'm going to curl my lashes to get ready for the mascara I have. And that mascara is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Waterproof Mascara in very black. Um, it's alive. So um, I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara, but it just keeps climbing up there in price. And it's getting a little ridiculous. So I'm going to try this out. Mmm. Yeah, I don't know what that smells like. It wasn't good, though. I didn't like that. I 
and you guys know I will sit here and play with my lashes forever, so I'm going to try not to do that today. Because you all have better things to do than sit here and watch me do that. Uh, usually I don't wear waterproof mascara on the lower lash line, but just for the sake of trying this out, I will put it there. I feel like I kind of like it on the lower lash line. I like the way it looks. Um, but if it's too hard to remove later, I'm not going to be happy about that. And I know it's waterproof, but like some waterproof mascaras are easier to remove than others, or rather some are more difficult to remove than others. I feel like it's kind of like the lashes are too separated. Does that make sense? Like, oh no, <laughs> forget it. I'm not going anywhere today. I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to try second coat on the top lashes. But yeah, I just feel like they're almost too separated. And that is our musical clock in the background. And I can't say... Hello? Do you mind? I can't say that it's, like... Like, not clumpy. But I just feel like... The lashes are all too separate. I don't know. I don't know how to describe that. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about and understand it. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just me. Um, so far, though, I mean, eh. It doesn't do what my Too Faced one does. So the hunt for a cheaper alternative continues. So the last thing I have to try on today is the Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink. I guess it's a liquid lipstick. I'm reading off this card. Um, I didn't buy these, but I did get them around the same time as Black Friday. I got these for free from something called Influencer. Influencer? Yes, that was correct. Influencer. <laughs> um, and like, if you fill out some surveys and you hook up your social media, um, you might get selected to test out some products for free. You do have to review them, uh, and they specify like what platforms you have to review each item on. They do let you know in advance, um, but they don't tell you like how to review them. So I could say that this sucks. I could say that it's wonderful. It doesn't matter. This one is 10 or 010, Your Majesty. Looks like maybe a deep-ish mauve. Maybe I'll try that one. Eh. That's an interesting texture. Feels kind of nice. Almost like um like a jelly maybe. Like a thicker jelly, but do I make any sense? Do I ever make any sense? The scent is like a little bit sweet and fruity, but a little bit chemically at the same time. So let's see how that dries down. Um, it's an interesting color. It's like a mauve berry, I guess. And then the other one they sent me is 019 My Own Boss. And this one is a bright red. I'm not going to open it. Just because um, if for some reason this one doesn't work out for me, I might give it to someone. As some of you probably know, I have a lot of uh, allergies and stomach issues. So I don't even know if I can really use this. I don't know if this should even be on my lips or not. <laughs> but I guess we're going to find out. Oh, satin ink. Oh, so this is not going to dry down matte then. I'll wait a little bit and I'll come back if it dries down. All right, so it's been a few minutes. I mean, I think if it was going to dry down, it would have, right? Um, oh my God. I mean, a little bit, but not, not a lot for what I thought this would do. Wow. That's interesting. 
I, I'm like easily impressed. <laughs> Sometimes anyway. Um, all right. So the face palette, we all know from the last videos how I feel about the face palette, but I do like the highlighter and I will enjoy the other pieces as uh, eyeshadow and the bronzer is all right. The highlighter. Oh, see, now you can see it better. Uh, I feel like uh, when there's less light, you can see this better. I don't know if that makes any sense either. Um, so still in the trial phase, but so far, I think I like that. That's the thing. All of this, they're really just first impressions. Uh, the brushes were okay. Uh, I didn't really need them. There's nothing wrong with them, but I didn't really need them. The palette, I need to cut my hair. Um, the palette's nice. I think I'll probably like it better combining it with other palettes just so that I have like some lighter tones, some medium tones, some deeper tones like kind of thing. I definitely liked a few of the shades in there and I have to play with it some more, but so far I think so good. The eyeliners were really interesting. Um, I do wish that they worked both on the lid and in the waterline. But from my experience, it seems like eyeliners kind of do one or the other really well, and then the other one's kind of eh. But I'll definitely play around with those some more. And someday where I don't have eyeshadow on and I just want to do, like, say, a colorful liner, I'll try them and see if they work any better without any eyeshadow. The mascara, mm, not too thrilled. I mean, if you're not looking for, like, a specific replacement to the Too Faced one, I guess it's fine. Uh, the real test for me will be when I try to remove it later, because like I said, I'm picky like that. <laughs> if it's too hard to remove, I'm not going to like it. And the liquid lipstick, or whatever we want to call it, I think that's really interesting. I'm not going to write my um, influencer reviews yet, though, because I want to try it a couple more times um, and also make sure that I'm able to use it personally with all of my allergies and whatnot. And if this one works out, I will try the red one as well, and then I'll write my review. So I know a lot of the times I'm testing out eyeshadow palettes, uh, it's kind of my favorite thing to do, and I don't usually have a bunch of products like this uh, to test all at once and to do like almost a full face, but let me know what you guys thought. Um, if you want to see more videos like that, let me know and I'll try to make that happen. And until next time, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it is you celebrate, Happy New Year, Hopefully next year will be a collectively better year for everyone. The karate school that I joined virtually and now I go to sometimes in person too um, was has been just really fantastic and a lot of fun, uh, great people. They are traditional Okinawan karate. I should put them in the description box. Um, they were basically the highlight of my year and they kept me going through all of this. So I actually had a pretty good year despite the tragedies, the personal tragedies I had in 2019 that I was kind of recovering from in the beginning of the year and still kind of recovering from. I keep looking at myself in the mirror, by the way, <laughs> looking at all the different products I used. So I feel like I had a personally good year thanks to the people around me and my karate school. And that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye. See you next time.